Welcome to another tutorial on users. This time we will talk about updating and deleting users. Um, actually, Django is providing a lot of standard views for that. I've uh, looked them up for you. Here they are in the Django documentation, update view and delete view. And we will leverage these as much as possible to create um, the functionality that we need. First, we create a form which will update the fields of the user of the custom user model that we have made so we go to forms.py and let's put that in i prepared that already um, custom user update form we will use the model form of django uh, with the model custom user and in in it is a parameter fields which contains basically all the fields except for the standard fields like email and password which are included anyway um, all the extra fields of our model and we've also added a widget for the date of birth which allows us to input the widget via a calendar format this date input widget is a standard Django widget now over to views in views we need to add two views one for the update of the user custom user update view which uses update view which is a standard view from Django this one here and then the model is custom user our own custom user model and then the custom user update form that we just created so let's add those first of all update view we will also need to delete view and we import uh, custom user model from our own models and then finally the custom user update form that we just created last thing is the delete view as i mentioned um, custom user delete view subclass from delete view model is custom user success url this is the url that django will go to after the user has been deleted and we want them to go we want the user to go to account sign up which is the sign up page now we use reverse lazy for that because we need to um, calculate that to evaluate that at uh, execution time. So we need to import reverse lazy as well. Now our urls.py because we need um, these views to be found. So let's add the urls for this. First of all, a path to a url which consists of an integer which is going to be the primary key of the user that what that is supposed to be updated then slash update this is the custom user update view that we just created with a template name account slash update.html and a name account update same for delete the primary key is going to be the parameter of the user that is going to be deleted customer user delete view and the rest is basically the same with a template delete.html let's import the views here they are so that everything will work so the only thing left to do is to create the templates let's go over to templates I have prepared that so that you don't have to wait for my typing let's paste them in delete view and I'll just walk you through it briefly First of all, we extend from a gener generic template that we have made. You can make any template you want, obviously. We use the, temp the international translation template tag library. And then we have a title, which is going to be in the head. And then a title, which is going to be in the body of the page, um, for which we have created a, a separate uh, block tag. Again, the body with a form in it which is a post form which just uh, has one button which says are you really sure that you want to delete this account and if we are not sure then we can keep our account by just going back to our home page here um, with a message return to site so delete is really very simple update is a bit longer so let's go and make that new file update.html and paste the content in there um, i'll walk you through that as well um, the known template then we have the translation tags um, the title in the head the title on the page with um, the card header then the card body which contains all the elements of the 
form and of the model. So here we have the form which contains a URL account update which we have just created. Um, the encoding type is multi-part form data and we need that because there is a photo in the model as well and we need a validation class which is being used by um, widget tweaks which allows us to have nice styling around the boxes um, that are being validated. Now all the different fields in the form are here. Um, display name is on a separate line then we have first name and last name on the same line you can see is one row with two columns. Here we have address on a separate line, second address line on, second, on a separate line, city, zip code and country, mobile phone, date of birth, additional information, and here is the photo field. All the fields of our model are there with a submit button, and that is the end of the form. And at the bottom, there is the opportunity to delete the account in small print with request.user.primary key as a parameter and the message delete your account. Now a logical place to put a link to this update template would be in our profile page. Now that, that's something that we have created in a previous tutorial. It just lists um, some parameters of the user. In this case it's only two, first name and last name. Um, and there is a title obviously and is derived from the same template. Now we want to have more fields, we want to have all of the fields in our user profile, so let's add them here. First of all, email and display name, and then all the other fields as well. Basically the same as we just saw, address, line, city, zip code, etc., including the photo. And then we add the link here at the bottom to account update, which allows the user to update. Time to try this out. Here is um, if it's going to work. Oh. And run the server. There we are. Start up the page. There is the page. Not sure whether we're logged in or no, we're not logged in. So let's log in. Password. Sign in. Something went wrong, probably with my password. That's better. Here is the account profile and you can see that there is lots of fields here except that we haven't filled anything in. So let's do that. Here is the update account form. Let's put in a lane, an address, um, city, Paris, a telephone number. A date, birth date. And the country, Paris, where's Paris, France. Um, well, let's leave it at that. Let's update that. And you can see the often all the information is again here. Now we can also delete the account. Let's try that as well. And we are brought back to the sign up page as was our intention. This is it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope to see you next time.